How's the audio sounding, by the way? Is it, uh, is it loud enough? This Game Boy Color is usually loud, so this one might be low. Uh, what do I want to do first? I want to check something. It's going to be like, oh yeah, i got to change my uh, controller profile. Default so it actually works. Seem quiet? Okay. Well, we'll see once it actually starts up, because maybe the intro is... If I have to boost it up, let me know. See, see what options we have. Let's start the timer here. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah, so the music just normal resolution. It's a high resolution option. So it's probably just run slower. I don't know. Do I want the high resolution or the normal resolution? Need to find some more geometry to see what, what this looks like. Yeah, it definitely runs slower in high resolution. Do we want speed or looks? Yeah, we'll go with high resolution. I'm sure it's not going to have too many, like, landscape shots where it's going to be super slow anyways, so... <laughs> Neither looks good, yeah. Gotta love the popping. I love... I love... God. You know, I, I hate games that have, like, the A's and the O's looking... Looking exactly the same. Is it Alarona? Or... Alorona? No, I think it's Alarona. Alright, well that's the default name, I might as well, oops, or maybe, no, maybe it's Alaron, it's just, <laughs> had A selected. Yeah, that's what it is, it's Alaron. How virtual hot do you want to go? <laughs> Speed to make this go faster. Well, we'll see, I mean, I'm sure it'll give us the option of switching in-game, it's not like, you know, you have to choose it once before you start the game and you're stuck with it. Alright, let's start the pain. <clears throat> this can't be that bad, eh? Yes, Your Majesty. Right away, Your Majesty. Why does the king always ask me to find the boy? I'm not a cook. I'm a cook, not a ranger. Yeah, there's a little, little issue with the text box, but... Aleron, Aleron. Hmm, let me think. When was the last time I saw him? Yesterday? What is going on here? Look at these mighty NC4 graphics. Aren't, aren't we going to miss these awesome graphics when we move on to the next generation? Okay. <laughs> what? What is going on? Yes, yeah, all that happened yesterday, but... Well, where is he? I don't know, sir. Abracan? He's run off again, hasn't he? I don't know, Sir Abercan. Who could depend on the squire? Sir, I often depend on him. Naturally. But you're a cook, not a knight of the realm. <laughs> Sir. You see, another silly enchantment. <laughs> what even is going on here? Arrogant squire. Do you know how many swords he ruined? Now he disappears into thin air. So, I don't know, he's a prankster squire of some kind. Yeah, that seems to happen a lot with N64 games, I've noticed, especially text boxes. Uh, Ogre Battle 64 as well, the text boxes are like one pixel off. That's usually the only problem. Aleron, come out immediately. Aleron, Aleron. <clears throat> Anything strange with him lately? It's <laughs> a big ass rat just casually walking by. Sir, nothing odd in the kitchen. Any strangers coming around? Not that I've noticed. No, sir. Then why should he run away? Where do you think he is? He 
He's trying to run away from this game. That's what he's trying to do. All right, put a guard in the main hall. Yes, sir. And send someone out into the library. Have a maid check the observatory. Another should look by the pool. Magic in progress. Keep out. This means you. And question the magicians. But Sir Abracan, just find him. <laughs> Magic's still in progress. Don't make me ask you again. <laughs> you had to complain. Look at those polygons. Complain, but what, Mistress Rita? But the boy, what else? Stealing spell books, losing relics. Just wait till I catch him. <laughs> yeah, the music is definitely nothing to write home about. Let's hope the king doesn't hear about that. <laughs> White fooligans. Aleron. Hmm, not with Abracan, not with Bowden, not with Godric or Rita. Of course. He's been in his home in his room all along. Fire. Hello, Alaron. Anybody home? Sephira! New guard for 34 months! Morning. A month for each 200 hours you play, I say. Indeed. Thank you so much for looking at this for New Guard. Welcome to this game. The farmer is missing. He's gone to rescue the poor man. Alone? Cut these polygons. You know Alaron. You can cut something. You can. Those, those chins are just. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh God. What if the frame rate suddenly decide to like go to zero? Hello. <laughs> Kendall. You must be out there somewhere. Kendall. It's me. Alaron. I know, it's like, hopefully the, the game doesn't run like that. I spoke to your wife. She's worried, and she hasn't seen you all morning. Why am I talking to this empty forest by myself? <laughs> Come on, Kendall. <clears throat> Just gotta have, have a soliloquy in every, like, corner of the forest. <laughs> So he doesn't shout out for his name. He's like, oh, let's just, just, just have a conversation, a one side conversation with him. Like this game, even though it sucks. Discord at last! <laughs> but to like. Check Discord often now. It'd be amazing. I know, it's just like middle of four, is this some random corner. Come out here now. Did you hear me? Hello? Am I speaking to nothing? Get out, you out here? Hello? Alright, let me repeat this whole thing. Oh god. Oh, this is painful. Uh, how do I rotate the camera? Not the C stick. Oh, you gotta hold down the, the left button. See how it runs with a low resolution. Rename character. Yeah, just in case you feel like changing your character name. Normal resolution. <laughs> it doesn't really help with the animations, my god. Like I don't know if this is supposed to be this this shitty. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I mean, this game could just run like ass. Maybe it's not a emulation thing. <clears throat> Back in a bit, food. Yay, food. <laughs> Try graphics the very low. <laughs> you don't have that option. It's high or normal. Doesn't seem to have a chance. Theater. Everyone's search. I guess that's the thing we just saw. Is there like f four things in the entire game? <laughs> we just saw the, the intro one. Credits. Alright, we beat the game. Alright, quickest game ever. Whew. That was awesome. Thank god that's over. No, not over? God damn it. Let's 
save. We dodged a bullet there. Thank God. Treasure. Four healing potions. We've got short sword, leather, armor, small shield, club. You acquired a potion. Do like potion in combat? Press and hold the top button. For more info, press that. All right. Wait, do I have my raid analog stick set up for the C stick? Let's see. Yeah, down works, so. Four minute bullet. Oh, oh wait, nope. Am I equipping it or unequipping it? <laughs> I was unequipping it. Oh, it's better. Minimum strength 10, base hit 55, damage 2. Base hit 40. It's 55 higher. I'm assuming that I have a 55% chance of hitting with this versus a 40% chance, so it seems like the club is better. So this hafted skill versus sword skill, what's my current skills? Uh, <clears throat> what's my dexterity minus three? <laughs> Pieces of the chance to hit with weapons. I guess it gives you information in game, you know. That's one nice thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's with that one gold. Maybe you can't go to zero gold. Complicating boring systems and battles. Yeah, that's never fun. Stealth troubadour. We got a bard skill. Think fast monsters love being attacked. Those characters play and sing inspirationally. Proving your party's chances of success. So we're gonna have a party. That's why what the uh, four slots are. Can't really go through the uh, manual, so. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, my sword score skill is three, but my haft is one. Now I don't know if that means I'm gonna hit more often or do more damage with the sword. True chances to hit with all types of swords, so it just increases your chances to hit. <clears throat> but I mean, the sword has forty, while the haft has fifty-five. So is it gonna be more likely to hit? <laughs> Hard to tell. Since successfully casting spells, allows the character to cast more difficult spells. It's fighting skills and defense is the possibility of scoring critical hits hand to hand missile combat. Just defenses when wearing a shield. Not any spells yet. It's a for a game of the Elder Scrolls game. Almost, right? I guess I could try it in combat just to see. Yeah, so how, how's... Can you say something about, like, pressing up? I guess because my health is full, maybe. Because I'm holding up and it's not doing anything. Camera system's going to be annoying as hell. Do I attack? Is that a good guy? It's like a goblin or something. Pressing the button, nothing's happening. <laughs> yes, the forest is quite lovely, Yuli. What foolish do not be. Goblins roam the woods, and trouble there have has been. Yes, so I have heard. What is it? Aleron? I guess they know me. Those guys are bigger than I expected, I thought, from when I was, like, outside this conversation. Helm, well met. Honored Mirari. <clears throat> How be you, the state pup? It's a big ass nose ring for. <laughs> well, and well, are you? I'm happy, and I am well. Ah, what brings you to the forest? What indeed? These woods are perilous. <laughs> when we engage Elder Scrolls, well, once they make an engage emulator, I might consider adding engage games. Goblins be the enemies of traders and squires. Meanwhile, 
king and the, all his knights are searching the castle for you. I haven't seen any goblins. Recently have been taking caravans and traders. Which has some cheesy voice acting on an N64 cartridge. <laughs> that would be amazing. It would sound like... It would sound worse than Faselli's uh, intro song. Look here, we slip past, slip past with our spice. We don't hear the wonderful music. <laughs> the birds. See, the birds are singing. Their magic does this aid us. Even still, we must move quickly. Take care, pup. But, Eater. Not to find Kendall. Perhaps he is westerly? Or somewhere to the east. Thanks, guys. We're traveling from Tail Walk. Tail Walk? Where's that? Tail Walk is the land to the south. South of the forest along the river. Is it far? <clears throat> Not for us. No, not for traders. Though we, we will be happy to see our homes in Eroman. Yes, indeed. In any case, we did not see your Kendall come along the path from there to here. He must be somewhere else. May you find him safely and quickly, and before the king is too angry. Wait a minute, is the king angry? You know, the king. Hot temper, but a kind soul. I see more than enough of his temper these days. Yes, Pop, and who was at fault there? Hush, Yuli. Can't you see this boy is worried enough? Why don't you bring him some spice? We are carrying his favorite. Pogorol. The royal ponies relish it. Um, is it expensive? Or are you, a Pop, a special price? Two gold pieces. I only have one. <laughs> I have one gold piece. Only one? Are you sure? This is very fine, poor girl. <laughs> Why are you lost in the plot? Yeah. We're trying to find some farmer. That's the plot so far. I'm just the finest eater, but with only one piece of gold, I can't do much bargaining. Very well, very well. We traders know what it is like to be light on gold, pup. Indeed we do. Suppose we shall have this one time a single gold piece will do. Well, there goes my gold. Thank you. And now let's go find Kendall. We just, we just bartered with some drug dealers. Or some spice. <laughs> be careful, pup. Trained you may be, but more than rats and bats you are not ready for. Kill you, they will. Stupid like, a pair of Yodas gave us some 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 spice. <laughs> Don't you be in the woods after dark, pup. <clears throat> yeah, kind of, right? I don't know what these guys are supposed to be. I mean, they're, I mean, they're they're almost human sized. Not seeing him alive again. Too bad. Nice he was. Let's so have some spice now. Spice, like spices and like jalapeno peppers. Spice, powerful and rare substances. Use magical spells. So spell components. Yay. This. Like, I don't know if it runs his like ass like this on the real system. Or just with emulation. Oh, okay. I guess there's random encounters. Um hello. Where's the enemy? I mean I see it on the left side there, but <laughs> I don't see... Oh there jeez, holy crap. I can barely see that thing. I just noticed it was like a radar. It's like, okay, I'll, I'll aim it. I mean, like, look at that. They could have put like a circle around him or something. I guess I gotta walk towards it. Oh, I'm like really far. What if I wait for it to come to me? Haha. -ha. Uh, okay. Press the start button? No. How do I end actions? No push, okay. Perform. Perform a song. I can perform. How do I? How do I actually perform? <laughs> C button. Okay, so press the the Z button to. You wrap this game, oh yeah. Core, how's it going? 
had to host this. <laughs> I'm running this on um, Project 64. Thanks for the host, man. How's it going? What were you playing today, Cora? Some other amazing games? I'm sure better than this. <laughs> No, it seems, it seems to run okay. Like I, I don't know if I don't know if the frame rate is due to the game being ass or you know the game running on Project 64, but I mean graphically this seems to be okay for the most part. Shaman King 2, <laughs> Shaman 2 Galoo. How is that one? Okay, so the game just runs like ass. So yeah, so it, it seems to be running fine. Wait, he gets two moves? How'd he get two moves? Shit, nope. Okay, so Z just ends the ends the turn, so don't press Z. Okay, so just press the button twice to attack. This is gonna be amazing, isn't it? Fails to perform. <laughs> they make pills for that, Avalon. This is such a core game, he has it already. God, this looks like ass. Giant bat killed. Eh, this is gonna be fun. <clears throat> Each member earned 75 experience points. Did I level up or something? Wait, I, I gotta... I gotta spend the experience inside of, like... Stats? What? Oh god. I experienced the... <laughs> wow. So I have to level up these separately? So if you have like 3,000 experience, you can choose to level up like these? Wow, that's gonna be... Expensive <laughs> just to raise a stat. Found zero gold. You didn't miss much, Sev. You, you, missed, you missed a bunch of cutscenes and the first battle. <laughs> and yeah, I'm already lost. What the hell? Is there, is there a map? <laughs> should, I should have pulled up the manual of this. <laughs> Probably no maps. <laughs> this is the problem with battles, like games that have long battles. It's very easy to figure what direction you're facing before the battle ended. Uh, I can go that way, or I can go this way. Let's go this way. Here's something over there somewhere. <laughs> yes, it's cold here. Rascal Square that is hiding from his boss. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he's he's like some sort of prankster who basically is trying to rescue this farmer. Like, mar farmer is missing, so he went out to try to find a farmer. And, oh, the king? I'm not sure if the king or the knight, anyways, is looking for him. Some cook is looking for him or something. I don't know. What's the plot so far? Kendall? Kendall, is that you? Nope, it's a ghost, man. Run away. A spirit. New journal has been added. New journal entry. Right. How do we open these journals? Oh, there's a sort of a map. There's, a, there's like a calendar, too. What? Like phases of the moon. God, if phases of the moon become important, this is gonna be like Ultima. <laughs> I know, right? 
guess I'm using a, a PS4 controller, not an N64 controller, because goddamn camp. Can I camp? What happens if I camp? Ah, patch the marshmallows. Okay, so now we're at night time. That's probably going to be bad. <laughs> I saw a strange figure in the forest. It's a great journal. Oh, I read those Terminator down the bottom there. <laughs> Port Said, Tailwalk, Erman, Guarinia, Ugarit. When I become the modern case playground, life been going on. People and their friends go to a certain part of the level. It's a huge movie screen. <laughs> Sit down and watch the full Inception movie. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, Moon Gates. Yeah. So it's like a full movie going on in. I can sneak if I hold down the the uh, Z button. So that seems kind of weird. <laughs> You play a game, go watch a movie. I, mean, I guess there was stuff like that in, in um, PlayStation Home back in the day. Whatever happened to PlayStation Home? Giant Rat begins action. God. Couldn't be any darker if they tried. I love this humongous bar at the bottom. Like, can I can I turn that off in any way? Let's perform. I know how I'm supposed to perform. Turn every button. Maybe I need more characters so I can like if I, I can't perform for my myself. Magical nipple ring. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the cheer. It's awesome. Thanks so much. This combat is going to be really slow and annoying, isn't it? We only have one dude. Imagine we have a full party. I watch movies with my enemies. You want to watch your enemies play this game. That's what you want to do. <laughs> That's a weird sound for a rat. It sounds like a, a lion. Roar. All right, I can do multiple attacks. Apparently. So it must be like an action point system, but I don't see anything that indicates action points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is a very derpy rat face, isn't it? <laughs> it's a really weird avoid the attack. Like, ah, let's just get out of the way. <laughs> this is just. This is gonna get annoying, isn't it? This is gonna be. One of the. It's gonna be a horrible game. <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah, from, from all indications, it seems like this is running pretty accurately. <laughs> Where's my Santa minus six now? Is it because it's nighttime? Did it take some damage? Like, why, do I have, why do I have minus six stamina? Beast hide. There's wolves, and many of the beasts have hide that may be shaped into light armor. I guess there's a crafting system. <laughs> Spaz attack, yeah. Oops, no way. Yeah, I'm really curious why the stamina is minus six. Okay, when stamina is also lost when your character takes damage from attacks. Okay. So, since we're hurt. I 
Don't know why my dexterity is down, though. <clears throat> Maybe it's based on the weapon. So I use, like, a club, which I have... No, it's still three dexterity. Maybe it's something to do with the armor. Yeah, we get minus one. Okay, yeah. So we get minus one dexterity from the armor. And shield, probably. Yeah, so... The shield and the armor gives us less dexterity, but it gives us more protection. That kind of makes sense. <clears throat> Three hours of wrist slitting fun. Yeah, sounds about right. That symbol below his his portrait mean is like a, a skull and sun. Can't scroll over to that. So that's some sort of status effects, or does it mean he's better at daytime? He's not. He's not a night person. Which the random encounter is <laughs> it's like no indication all of a sudden it fades to black and it's like, oh you're you're fighting stuff now. <laughs> it's with this music. How, how how is the sound by the way? Does it need to be go up or You know it, Sunfall. You know it. It's going to be amazing. This club seems to do way more damage. Yeah, it was middle of the night, so that's not helping things. I'll try to camp again. I don't know if there's like a time limit of any kind. I mean, there's a, there's a calendar, so I'm assuming. Let's put it back to daytime here. I don't know if you can get encounters. I mean, you can't, or if you're usually safe. There. Daytime. I'm, like, already lost. <laughs> I should have kept going where the spirit was. I figured, like, I'll go back and see if there's any treasure, but now it's like, I don't know. Everything looks the same. It's, I mean, there's a compass, but that's not going to help me. Great Victoria experience screen, yeah. Yellow. Yellow. It's a goblin. It's a pretty big goblin. A goblin. Fight now, human boy. Where's Kendall? Kendall, go gone. Human. <laughs> go where? What's his hat doing on the ground? Hat here. Him gone. Fight now. Two goblins. What are you doing in the forest? Forest goblin country. No farmer. No more trader. No more you. Now fight. Get out of my way. You go by. All right, if you insist. You go after, you fight us. She send us. Us? An ambush. <laughs> oh god, three of them? Um, should have saved. <laughs> Four of them? Well, I'm boned. <laughs> And the AI couldn't even, like, walk past the other dude. He's like, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Sounds. Wait, what happened? I can't see. It's just a scratch, but it burns. Great, I got poisoned. All right, it's obviously a, a uh, forced uh, cutscene here. Welcome back to the world, child. You have been sleeping long.
take a look at the official manual. I mean, it seems pretty self-explanatory built in, or in the game itself. Like, you know, at least there's a lot of info, you know, with the, with the C stick. Have to take a look at the full manual after after the stream. Magic, pause in the game, camping. Let's read about camping. Just see if there's any like, chances of being attacked. Camping allows your wary party to put feet up and regain value HP. It's possible to be ambushed by monsters at night, yeah. Party member with high ranger skill will significantly reduce the risk of an ambush. Okay. So uh, Aleron, Brina, Abrakan. There's a lot of characters. Rita. Although, I'm not sure if all these join you, they're just characters you see in the game, I guess. Keelan, Turo, Nielsen. Are they ever quest gameplay? Yeah, kind of. Spell list. Oh God, that's hard to read. Green and yellow, yeah, that's a perfect color scheme for your spell list. This is a lot of info in the manual, unlike, you know... Imagination. <laughs> Says like nothing in the manual. Goblin spark. Goblin use poison. Goblin kill. <clears throat> Where am I? Safe and sound and well hidden. Aren't you in the woods? What were you doing there? I can't guess. It wasn't easy dragging you back to my hut, you know? You're her. You're the witch. The witch. Burn the witch. Witch witch. <laughs> What am I doing here? What are you up to? You get a ch chance to challenge the top of the longest of this game? What? Is this game that long? I gotta hope not. <laughs> Your fears make you the fool, boy. I know all about you. We've all heard the stories. Stories? Bah. You shouldn't waste your time on them. I'm no witch. I'm the healer who saved your skin. But you, you gather herbs. All healers do. In this room, it's full of spices and flowers, they say. All healers grow flowers. I also collect herbs. How else can wounds be stopped? 900 hours? Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's probably going to be one of those things, like, I'm going to do... I mean... It feels like it's going to be kind of an open worldish kind of game. Probably actually one of the first ones, actually, because really we haven't had that many truly kind of open world games. So if it's fairly open, I'll probably explore for a bit and I'll get sick of exploring and just want the game to end. I quit collecting herbs for people. No. Oh, then I shall send you back outside. Run to the end, took him 93 hours. Oh man. That's gonna suck. <laughs> Average six people, 61 hours. Oh man, I did not expect this game to be that long. This is gonna be painful. Believe me, you've slept helplessly for hours. If evil was my intention, I'd have several opportunities. But Lady. Arinia. What's Arinia? My name is Irinia. That's one of the old names. I think it suits me. I still don't know who you are. Me, I'm Aleron. Thank you for helping me. Think nothing of it. Nothing at all, young... Aleron. Alright, alright. I'll try to remember. Now, what were you doing in the forest clearing? I was walking. I remember that. I went from the castle. Go on. Ran into the forest. Even survive, man. You guys are making me depressed here. <laughs> this is gonna be painful, isn't it? I saw the hat. It can't be that bad, can it? <laughs> I mean, it seems like it has some interesting, some interesting uh, mechanics. I mean, I can see the combat being probably slow and plodding, but ugh. I mean, there's only two ratings, and it's kind of hard to tell. But yeah. I, th I thought I saw a woman in the trees. Maybe it was you. Everything is hazy, but I think there was a woman. 
That woman? Or what woman? There were goblins and something hit me. I'm feeling dizzy. <laughs> Turok Evolution killed him again. <laughs> PS4 Platinum Hunter again now. Oh man. Poor him. Kendall. Wait, he's having a drug dream now. It's me. What's with this music? Let's just play some auto tune violins. Where are you? Oh, what? <laughs> Hello, Squire. Who are you? A friend. Boy here. Lost he. I'm looking for someone. Lost you. Fail you. Pay no attention to them. They're perfectly harmless. Kill you. Die soon. They're just trying to show you that you like you. Yeah. <laughs> it's farting in the background. <laughs> they're, they're farting and they're sitting on top of a violin. Kill. Die. You say you're looking for someone? <laughs> she looks photoshopped. <laughs> I've seen plenty of photoshops. I've seen a lot of pixels in my time. She looks photoshopped. Yes, a friend. You're sure? One of the village farmers? You think he left his house? Think maybe he came this way? Be honest, Squire. Since when do you farmers leave their homes? Are you sure that's what you're looking for? Aren't you really sick and tired of waiting around in that castle? Die. Kill. See, they like you. <laughs> this game is very, very weird. Is thank you for the bits, Zim of the Vent. This game, this game is gonna be odd as hell. Do what you want here, Squire. You can trust us. Why chase after farmers with your own while your own dreams sparkle just within reach? I have to help them. Forget the farmer. He's unimportant. But you. I think you're lost yourself, and looking for your own path through these woods. <laughs> for the pain, yeah. Super friendly, yeah. They just want to give you a hug. What the actual hell is going on here? Where is my friend? Stay here with us. Kill. Die. Yes. Wait, now we have the devil. <laughs> yes, friend. You'll stay with us. That looks final boss-ish if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I've seen many final bosses in my time and uh, that's a lot of tentacles. Forever. Some really pointy polygons. <laughs> he ran out of polygons. Like, alright, just let's give her the Madonna look. Yikes. Scheme. Hello, Aleron. Squire. What happened? One moment we were talking, and the next. Watch your face. You saw outside this place. You mean a dream? More a vision. Did it frighten you? <laughs> a bit. Well, it frightened me. You were awake the whole time. You sure that's what it was? I'm not sure I imagine that thing to be after side his portrait. I know, right? I know no other explanation. When I lived in Eromon, I heard of a of Mirari legends about dreams, but in your case, must be some special spell or poison in you. Special poison beyond my healing. Did the attacking goblins cast an enchantment on you? Or something worse? We fought. I lost. That's all there was to it. Maybe we should go back to the king. The wizards of the castle might be able to do something. Given the fact that you aren't exactly at home in the forest, I'll cast a path light spell for you. Just follow the string of lights outside my hut and it'll lead you to the road. I'm sure you can find your way from there. As you think the wizards of the help 
or the castle will be of any help. The farmers are well thought of. You're being polite. Everyone knows the castle mages are all fools, all of them. <clears throat> Gachina knows the ways, but she's Marari. Eye protection. The goggles, they do nothing. Why don't you get along with magicians at Guarina? I get along, but I think they know everything. Let's follow the string of lights. Not yet. We must go now. Only a powerful magician can cast out visions. Teach me some magic. Show me a spell. Spells can be a useful tool, but you all have to be careful with them, because you can tire yourself quickly. There are a few small spells, but that's all. You can teach me those. I warn you, spells can be used for good for small, quick effects. They're good on the road. They're helpful in fighting off enemies. Some are more powerful than others, and more tiring. Show me. Either stealth, wizard, sword. Wait, that's not a spell. <laughs> Can't learn those ones, anyways. Can learn throne. Probably healer, I guess. This character is to lay on hands to help heal another character's wounds. Character may use herbs in addition to laying on hands to improve lots of damage restored. Yeah, let's learn healer, I guess. Yes. So I'm assuming that means she can tr train me up to level 4. Yeah, that's what I figured. Can I teach this? So this will train me throne level 1. But I'm assuming this takes away XP I can learn. I can So you have to use your XP for everything from learning skills to like increasing your stats and I want to learn Throne. Probably good to get at least one level of Throne. No, we do have missile weapons, so yeah, it's not get Throne. Oh, there you go. I, like, I thought she was going to train me spells. Target gains two strength for each rank of the spell. I'm going to cast... Your shield, all opportunities in range, as well add one rank to the protection value. Requires a gemstone. This one requires an herb. Wizard rank of one. Grab that one. <clears throat> Just the down button. Let's learn both of these. Level one for now. Hey, Ridge. Battle Hunter? Yeah. I don't even know what to even expect on Battle Hunter. Your journal has been... Entry has been added. You're so excited to see this one? I'm not. <laughs> Everything people have been describing is like, oh, this is going to suck. How do we lay on hands? Oh. You gotta select it and then you can lay on hands, restore. No details on that. Or any of these. How do we cancel? Oh. Stealth. Troubadour. There's only one that brings up an, a sub menu. <laughs> Watch, not play. You'd like to see the pain, right? You get the big ass blue potion? No? Save, I guess. <clears throat> Fifth level. Save scum. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, it's, it's your choice if you want to save scum, right? Just because it has the option doesn't mean you have to use it. Do you want to follow the lights? Probably. Just check over here, see if there's anything. God, this game's going to be amazing, isn't it? Ugh. Do anything with this well? I wish it was like an area map, not just, you know, this big map here. I mean, you can kind of... It seems like there's a fog of war kind of thing, but... As far as I can tell, you can't zoom in. If I should go exploring or not. <laughs> I guess we don't die instantly by touching water. Can we pick up these herbs? These herbs? Cool, 13 herbs. You can cast that strength spell. Uh, I, I, I'm, I've heard of it, uh, Sir Bros. I haven't played it or seen really any gameplay of it. How is it? Voting save is there, an event character gets level drain. Well, I mean, <laughs> again, if you use the save after getting level drained, well. I hate games that have level drain. Like, level drain should not be a thing. Especially if it's a game that takes a long time to level and then just one enemy can come and just, like, sap your levels. Like, god damn it. I just spent an hour getting that level. Be the worst feeling ever. Right, where's the light spell? It's not good at too far away here. We can explore later. Uh kinda feel like I'm supposed to wait, am I I thought we were heading back towards the witch, or at least we'd be branching back into the, where the witch was. Instead, I oh, yeah. found you. <laughs> that way. Wait, I'm back at the witch. God damn it. <laughs> Did I just seriously <laughs> go backwards into the path and just, like, destroy them? This is the witch, right? Yeah, so. Let's go back this way. Came from the road. <laughs> Get back to the witch. That's not how the magic path is supposed to work, game. Oh, hello, treasure. 178 gold. Hooray. Why is that chest facing that way? That's a really weird way to have a chase fa uh, chest face. Uh, crap. What direction did we come from? Assuming this way? Oh, there's the, uh, there's the light. Follow the light. God, this game looks like ass. Two giant bats. Alright, so red, I guess, means you can use it. You think that'd be the reverse? Like, blue seems like more of a you can use it thing, and red seems more like no, you can't do it thing. Hey Lucius, game came out in 2001, yep, it's the last game on the N64, but the last RPG anyways on the N64. Well, 
There's two monster types. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Shouldn't they be like more than two? So it came out in 1994. I mean, this game, I mean, it's it's got some nice features. Like, it's got a lot of information inside the menus and that, which is appreciated. The look, on the other hand, yeah. Not exactly the best looking game, but, you know. N64, right? There's only so much you can do with the N64. And I guess if you had an N64, I mean, you didn't really have a humongous choice of, of games. <clears throat> it's like Betrayal Condor. <laughs> Differences. Patrol Contour looks is great and this game blows. Yeah, pretty much, right? Oh, I'm gained a level. Hooray! <clears throat> okay, I took like six damage when my stamina is down six. So every, every damage I take reduces my stamina by that same amount. Zero gold. Uh, is there anything over here? Those are not too far from the glowing orb thing. Don't want to go down that way. It's too far. Can I climb up here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of gold. 100 gold. Well, I mean, if the, the one, one monster type is like dragons or something, <laughs> it wouldn't be too easy. I want to explore, but I also don't want to get murdered. Like, lose track of where I'm going. Especially since there's no map. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> you seriously can't see chests unless you're, that, unless you're that close? It'd be like, oh, there's nothing over here. And then, like, if you, unless you get closer, you... God damn, that's going to suck. Now, is that because of the high graphics thing? We'll put it to low graphics. I mean, it might be, it might be a design thing, right? I mean, even though you can kind of see far, you can't, you know, see the chest because of your character wouldn't be able to see that far. Nope. Yeah, it de definitely seems like it's a. I mean, it could be a draw distance thing, just. But it it might be intentional. Maybe some characters have like. Maybe there's a skill to increase your, your view range. <laughs> I, I didn't notice, Reg. I did not notice at all. Yeah, this is high graphics. I mean, there's... There's not really much of a difference. High resolution versus... Normal resolution. I mean... It doesn't seem to really run that much different. I mean, this is... This is like low resolution... If you look at the character, you can, yeah, it's a little blurrier, I guess. Now, of course, you know, this is on emulation. I don't know how it looks like. So the character has got more detail. It's, it seems to run roughly at the same frame rate. As far as I can tell, it doesn't seem to run any worse. It'd just be one of those things, like, if you have the, the uh, memory card or whatever, you can run in higher resolution. Yeah, that, that's weird. <laughs> the fact that you can rename your character mid-game. It's like, oh, I just decided to be named uh, this now. I am no longer known as Alaron. I'm known as... as Lanaron. <laughs> that's what we tell they do the HD remake of this game. Please, no. We, do, we don't... Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm going to have to go into like every nook and cranny. Like, oh, this looks empty. Nope. Here's a chest. <laughs> wow. 
That's going to make exploration fun. <laughs> Notable changes. Graphics don't seem one of them. What are you talking about? These are amazing graphics. Kindles? Oh, okay. On his hat. <laughs> Raises their protection to one, but lowers their stealth. Let's just wear the dead farmer's hat. Why not? We don't stealth. Does it show up on our person? Nope. <laughs> Invisible. Yes, yeah, emulation. Yeah. I mean, it it doesn't look terrible. I mean, you can definitely see some stuff emulation wise that you know could look better. I guess. What the hell is this thing? Teleporter. Huh. That's like some weird alien construct. <laughs> Assuming it's a teleporter or something like that, but we can't use it yet because we don't have what we need to use it. It's odd as hell, whatever it is. Yeah. We'll see Paper Mario didn't go for a full 3D mode. I mean, they were smart. They, they did, like, kind of a combination of 3D and 2D. It's a good combination. This game, well, no. Okay, I should go back. Kind of pretty far off the beaten path right now. But, but, treasure. Of course, they hide things behind trees. Alright, it's a dead end at least. Can I take fall damage? Can I can I jump down? Let's see. We have 41 health. Okay, no fall damage as far as I can tell. It's not by jumping off a cliff. Uh <laughs> question is now. Where do we go? Where was that dot? God damn it. Seems the pinnacle of landscape, yeah. Well, so that's the thing. Even Nintendo knew the limitations of their hardware, so like, oh, well, we can't really pull off a full 3D Mario RPG. It looks like shit on our system. So let's uh, let's let's just do this uh, this this, we, this this unique art style and just say it's you know. It was a, it was a choice. It, it wasn't because of the limitations of our hardware. No, no, no. This this was a choice. <laughs> hey, he does pretty good. He does more damage with the club than he does with the sword. I mean, if you, if you look at the stats of the club, he's, he's got like a base hit of fifty five versus the short sword's base hit of forty. But the only thing is, I mean, he's got more skill in sword uh, than than uh, half did. But I don't, I don't know how much that changes the the hit percentage. Improves the character's chance to hit. Yeah, but by how much? Is it is like plus, you know, five? If it's plus five, this is still better. If it's plus ten, then the sword would be better. I mean, most likely, if I find stronger weapons, it's probably give me a stronger sword. So I'll switch to a sword. But all the battles I did with the uh, the club has definitely been dealing out more damage. I'm sure, you know, some enemies are probably stronger against certain types of weapons. So I'm sure if I run to skeletons, if I want to use hafted weapons, it seems like the kind of game that would do that. Oops. Oh, I thought I was, like, entering a different cutscene there. Run away, let him come to you. <laughs> I 
I mean, it's, it seems like it's got some... Like, this game at least has a decent looking system. Like, I don't know, the combat's a little slow, but at least it seems like they tried so far. It's got a pretty big skill system, and... I don't know. It seems it seems like it's going to be a slow game, but it definitely seems playable. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see how bad he gets down the road. But if it's like a 60-plus hour game, and, well, for me, 60-plus <laughs> on average means it's probably going to be like a 80-plus hour. Yeah, that's that's crazy. But, I, I mean, I can see why. I mean, it seems like there's a lot of potential exploration. Like, I kind of want to go on the side paths, but I, I could see getting completely lost. Because there's no, there's no, like, area map, so... The best best I have is this thing here, and I mean, I can get a gen general idea what direction to go, but that's about it. I mean, Bruce Wayne hates bats. <laughs> so he became the Batman. Because he feared bats. Hello. It's the first time I've seen an actual enemy on the on the uh, thing. <laughs> Sixty hour gameplay, twenty hours wait for debates. Yep. I can see this combat getting really long once we have a full party and like get a full group of enemies. <laughs> like, we're, we're like alone right now and there's like three enemies. It seems like it's gonna take forever. Ah, oh, didn't one shot him. Yeah, that's exactly what it seems like. It seems like it's got pretty decent core mechanics. Like, this seems like it would be a pretty good game if it was on a different system. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, somebody somebody uh, mentioned, it, you know, it was like... It looked like an like an early, you know, Elder Scrolls console game. Yeah. I mean, it has a lot of, a lot of mechanics. Like, a lot of... A lot of D&D mechanics. But... Yeah, definitely gonna be a slog. <laughs> Doing good at avoiding the attacks. Damn it. Not supposed to avoid my attack, that's cheating. I don't know, maybe the sword gave me more attack points? This is an attack point system thing, but I mean, there's no indication of how many attack points we have and how much. Like, attacking takes in terms of attack points. Ah! Just seems random. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Screams. Rawr! 450 experience. We didn't even take any damage there. Oh, shit. Oops. Oops, no way. Yeah, controls would obviously help more if there were... On like a system that offered, you know, dual analog sticks. You can't use the C stick to rotate the camera. You have to hold down the uh, the right trigger to rotate the camera, which is kind of annoying. Let's 
messed up a bit here. That's a sort of medic, yeah, I know, right? Was it almost nighttime or is it almost daytime? It's hard to tell. I don't know where day night like ends on that circle. <laughs> And the draw distance kind of sucks. Like, oh, there's nothing over here. Probably is. Yep. The gold wasn't on, wasn't there until we got close. So anytime there's a little thing off the side, you kind of want to go there. Can we swim or are we like dead and uh, save? I went through a little puddle, but I don't know if I go into something deeper, would I just die instantly? Or did it actually prevent me going deeper? Look at those glorious scenes. Yeah, it could be emulation things, so... Yeah, and going off the beaten path, probably not a good idea, but... But I must... The random ladder. <laughs> you just press the OK button and you're just instantly to the top. Can be bothered to make an animation with a large shield. For your gold. So this gives us three defense, two protection. We lose two dexterity, no stealth. This one. Okay, oh, it actually tells you the differences. So you get plus one protection, plus uh, one total defense, and I think my dexterity goes down one more. Yeah. But more protection, defense, so. What's the difference between protection and defense? <laughs> one I'm assuming lowers the amount of damage, one probably lowers the chance of taking damage. Hey, Corn Husker. You know it. The one, the only. The pain begins. God. I'm like really off the beaten path at this point. <laughs> at least I can follow the river to get back to where I was. Oh, it's a house. Wait. Is that a house? No. We're in some sort of camp. Is this the town? No. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Middle of nowhere. It's not an object. Looks like the town's been ransacked or something. Hearing, hearing something moving. Better hear somebody like knocking on wood. Oop. Some more spice. Fifteen spice. Is that a goblin? At least the shield shows up on your character. Not the hat, though. Not about having a hat. Thank <laughs> you. 
His sword looks more badass. <laughs> so far I'm doing pretty good at avoiding damage. Kind of scared if it hits me though. <laughs> it's like minus 20 health. No, 6. Missed the first hour. I'm just like running around and <laughs> exploring. Going way off the beaten path where I should be going. 25. Oops. 18 gold, but can't take a sword. The day of storm season. We remember those who died here when the goblins ravaged the village of your wood. Remember. Okay. So I guess a uh, destroyed village. Maybe some treasure around. God damn it, camera, please. <laughs> Herbs. Lots of herbs. Herbs and spices. Be having a feast. It's like sore after doing meth. That's probably exactly what they're going for. Go in here. God, these places are dark as hell. Where's my torch? I need a torch. <laughs> There's a house. There's got to be something in here. Best graphics, I know, right? I mean, for a fan 64, this isn't terrible. I mean, the system isn't, isn't exactly known to be a graphic powerhouse, after all. Namer's Ring. Hmm. Plus 10 spell battery. Sure, whatever the hell that does. <laughs> it's like a wizard thing more than anything. Is that called spell battery? We have minus one stealth, I know. Hmm. It sounds like something that would resist spells or either either resist magic or give us like maybe some sort of like mana? I don't know. Spell battery. Either way, it's not like we have any other rings to equip, so... Well, I mean, the biggest thing the PS went over over the SNES is the, uh, you know, storage. <laughs> you can have a powerful system, but if you don't, if you have, like, a, a very little amount of storage, it doesn't matter how powerful it is, it's still gonna... You're not gonna have a lot of assets in your game. Like this this game looks like it could be it could be I mean it seems like it's got a lot of exploration. It's got a looks like it's got a fairly big open world, which is for for this era is pretty impressive. Like I, I you know, I'm not I'm not setting a linear path, hey you gotta go here. Like I, I'm actually kind of <laughs> I have to follow the river back. Like so here, you go, go on this path. So oh, let's go explore this village that was destroyed by goblins. You know, who knows how long ago, and get some extra treasure. You know, this is it's pretty cool. I can do that. You know what I mean? That's something you see a lot. There's some games that have some exploration, but relatively limited. Not a big open, hey, go wherever you want kind of thing. Which also means you probably go to places where you suddenly get your ass handed to you because. Like, whoops, <laughs> you just went across this bridge. You're dead now. Well, I mean, this one does have stuff. I mean, you know, this place here. So here's this town. 
Like, is there anything that would lead us to go to this town normally? Probably not. Yeah, this this obelisk here is like, here's, here's a little bit of lore. This town was destroyed by goblins. It's kind of a weird thing to throw in the middle of a dead town is an obelisk saying, hey, <laughs> this town died due to a goblin invasion. Let's throw this obelisk here. I think they were just like left it alone. Nipped it out of there. The thing, the only thing that's see, that's gonna suck is that draw distance. Where you know, like, oh, it doesn't look like there's anything in you know that corner over there, but it could be a chest unless I get like this close to it. You know, it won't show up. <clears throat> so that part kind of sucks, but I mean that that's that could, that's very likely a graphical limitation, but it could also be a design limitation. Where they just kind of imply, oh, your character can't see, can't see that, that because it's too far away. But they they still want to give you the draw distance. They don't, don't want to just give you like a, a really heavy fog. <laughs> First D&D adventure. That's the thing, right? It's just some random town that it's like we spotted. Let's go follow this river. Next thing you know, I'm inside of a town that's been destroyed by goblins. It's not a special quest or anything. It's just like, here you go. This is what you get for exploring a little bit. Get some... Get to see some extra stuff. So, I don't know. So far... I mean, it's... I, you know, I can see this dragging on for sure, but it doesn't seem terribad, bad, you know what I mean? Seems okay. Better imagination. <laughs> Ooh, some leather armor. Oh, we already have leather armor. It's horrible. So once we get another character, give him some leather armor. Unless it's different than our current leather armor. Nope. Uh, we... So we're, we're a squire that ran off to try to find a farmer uh, who, who was missing. So we found the farmer's hat, and he was... We got ambushed by a bunch of goblins. They poisoned us with some sort of... Uh, some sort of poison. <clears throat> we end up inside of a, a witch's or a healer's hut. And, you know, she, she gave us... She, she cast the magic spell so we can go back to town. And of course, you know, our magic spell to like guide us back to town, but you know, I kind of decided to go off the beaten path a little bit here to explore. Oh, back in the town, okay. So I decided to take, just go off the beaten path, but no, I'm going to go back to that. I don't want to go too far off the uh, beaten path. So, so far, that's the main, that's the only story. There's no, you know, hey, we're. We're not some, like, orphan trying to go revive a dark god or anything. We're just some, some random squire. So some mischievous squire. But, of course, you know, the game's going to change down the road, right? The plot's going to be... You will get back to town, the place will be destroyed by goblins or something. you got to find out who did this and... You know, typical plots... Uh, plot, uh, twist. <laughs> to Guerna, Guernia. Alron, at last, the king is beside himself with worry. He knows I was gone. Of course he knows, squire. You've been gone several days. Where have you been? I was ambushed by goblins. They poisoned me. Well, Varenia helped me. She couldn't cure the poison, though. Poison? Curse those fool goblins. The woman in the woods helped you out, you say. Hmm. I'm not so sure I trust her. Before and after? Let's take a look. It's 
kind of scary looking. Is the original, you know, the original does have that camera shake thing. You don't really notice it in the original. You notice it more in the bigger one. It's cool. You guys running some 90s animes? <laughs> Waifu 2x frame by frame? Wow. Yeah, increases resolution. Because, <clears throat> of course, you know, increasing resolution isn't as simple as just, like, upscaling it. it uses, like, uh, kind of AI neural networks to kind of guess what it should be at, at higher resolution. It's got nice armor. Yeah, we should kill him and take his armor. You notice she'd not make things worse. She didn't. Besides, I'm sure I would know if she tried anything. If you say so. I'm telling you, she helped me. Yes, yes, I believe you. I've been scouring the woods looking for you while you've been visiting crazy old ladies. I guess she's harmless enough. In any case, the king wants you back to the castle right away. So stick to the road and don't dawdle. Our abracan will have your hide. Filtering more sharks and created well, yeah. Did you hear me? Yes, don't worry. Well, I'll stop worrying once you get back to the castle in one piece. I'll run ahead and alert everyone in Guarania. May someone, maybe someone can check on that poison for you. Okay. Good, no, don't delay. Why is he always looking over his shoulder like that? <laughs> Giant rats. <laughs> God, this music. Got some rats with a severe overbite. I know, right? All the frames. <laughs> I mean, the frame rate. I mean, I don't know. I play games with that frame rate. It's not an action game, which this one isn't, at least in terms of, you know, oops. Combat. It's turn based combat, so. I didn't buy the copy for seven ninety nine. I don't know, for seven ninety nine it's probably worth it. Two out of five is is good for seven ninety nine. It felt it felt unfinished. It's a game that could have you know, could could have easily been a three out of five if uh, they added some slight quality of life stuff. It's just too many small things that annoyed me and of course some big stuff. But too much small stuff. Frames with your fingers. Just <laughs> those dying animations. Only thing with this combat is I wish there would be a way of turning off the uh, the bottom frame. Like I don't need to. Considering most of these enemies are like down on the on the uh, floor, on the ground. You can't see anything, is this big-ass text box over everything. Not that, you know, the animations are impressive or anything, it's just... Just aim the camera so you kind of see these things. So here, at least, it kind of aims it right at the enemy, but here, it's like... Select your action. Look through this text box to see the dude. Is that the replay one RPG you beat on Twitch? It depends on what you mean by replay. 
I mean, there's, there's definitely some games that had like New Game Plus that would have been interesting, you know, like Vagrant Story. <laughs> but in terms of like replay from scratch, I don't know. I mean, some some actually have replayed from scratch, like uh, uh, there's like Final Fantasy Final Fantasy six VI or three SNES, whatever you want to call it. And Tales of Dragon Saga, I had to restart because some corrupt saves. So I, I already gone, you know, maybe 10 hours into the games and then saves got corrupted and I had to restart the game. But of course, it took a lot less time to get there the second time. Because at that point, you know, you knew how to play the game or you, know, you knew exactly where to go kind of thing, right? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely some games that had New Game Plus that, you know, just in terms of time, didn't really have the opportunity to play. <laughs> Replaying them four times? Yeah. That's the thing, alright? I wouldn't want to replay them if I'm going to replay them as part of, like, a re-release. Is that supposed to be just a, some random table <laughs> in the middle of the woods? Seems a rather odd thing to have. I mean, this looks like a foundation, so you, maybe it was a burnt down house. Cat quest. <laughs> I've heard of cat quest. Haven't I haven't really seen anything about it. Are they releasing a new one with like cat quest two, one and two together? That wolves. Still don't know what the hell that is. Where's the another giant rat? I don't know. That's yeah, a wolf. <laughs> it's an ugly ass wolf. It's amazing uh, monster designers in this game. What? It gets two turns. Half step to low gothic. <laughs> yeah, I mean this this game seems like it would have done better on another system. Like I could see this game being like a probably a better game on the PS2, for example. Even I don't know about PS1. I mean PS1 probably not, but PS2 possibly. That dude did a lot of damage, by the way. <laughs> But at, at N64, no. Ow. Alright, this guy might kill us. <laughs> Shit. Just avoided the attack. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Unless we get really lucky and avoid all the attacks. It seems like he has a lot of attack points, and you, you're definitely dead. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Run! Wait, is there a... There's an arrow thing, but I can't tab over the next tab. Maybe during our turn, we have a chance of trying to run. I don't remember when my last save was. <laughs> oh, is this the end of Lavaron? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> I thought maybe if we were sent here, we would, like, get the ability of maybe retrying the fight or something. I don't think I saved that long ago, but... Right, so, so no exploration. <laughs> exploration equals bad. <clears throat> now was this before or after I came back from the from the village? I think this is before I went to the village. Well, there was what? There was uh, a ring there. It's a 
can check easily enough that we have the ring. We do not. No. Shouldn't take too long to get back there. Make sure to save this time. Bring us up here. We have the shield. house had some gold. There's that one goblin in here. Be able to cast the spell. Boom. Does that use health? It must because there's no MP. It's his turn. Nothing's just so beautiful, I know, right? Damn it. What the hell? Stop missing. Stop sucking all around. What the hell? Okay, seriously, it's four four misses in a row there. Ow. God damn it. I think I'll be re reloading in real soon here. That's a good hit. This went by a lot easier the first time. Wasn't missing like 20 times in a row. After this, bunch of herbs behind the house. bit of HP left, yeah. Just enough. That's all we need. Let me try that lay on hands thing. How does that actually work? Does that use... Can I lay on hands myself? Usually you can't lay on hands yourself. Yeah. Give herbs. We complete the task. Suck Aleron. Let's restore. Alright, well, we suck as a healer. <laughs> One heal isn't enough to do much. Try the short sword for a bit. 
see maybe that has a better chance because of our our attack of three or whatever, or sword thing of three. Assuming we can't cap in the middle of a, of a house. Yeah. This would be a perfect place to camp, considering it's a damn house. <laughs> but no. Can't do that. It's... It seems like it'd be an interesting game. It seems like it's going to be a long one. You know, I don't, I don't know how much of a slog it's going to become once we have... Uh, a party, but yeah, I mean, it seems it seems like it has a lot of mechanics. It's not just you know basic game. Like it's got a lot of a lot of skills. You got a, a lot of stuff to spend your your um uh, or your XP on. But it seems like everything's really expensive. So it'll take a while before we get to the point where we're gonna get enough experience to level anything up. But definitely seems like it's a passable game so far. But of course, this is early on, right? This could change drastically once I play the game for 20 plus hours. Uh, just in case hitting this uh, obelisk triggers something. We have the spices there too. Maybe that adds some sort of checkpoint or something. Chest here we missed last time. Some healing potions. I'll take them. Oh, when we can't, did we heal up to full? No, we didn't. It's good to know. Is there anything up here? Don't remember. Let's get back to the road. I'm definitely saving. <laughs> so I don't have to redo this again. In case I run into another damn wolf. Yeah, leather armor. Well, is there like an, a weight limit? I mean, there's got to be some sort of inventory limit. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really say. There's no numbers that indicate, you know, a weight limit or anything. I'm sure the game will let us know when we get to it, when we hit it. the road. I mean, so somebody kind of likened this to EverQuest and kind of. <laughs> this, this feels like playing in like an old MMO style thing. So yeah, I don't know. 
seems like it's going to be an okay game so far. <laughs> This time we're going to stay on the path and not gotta go attack a wolf, get myself murdered. The combat, I mean... Depending on how how, uh, how often we do combat, I could see combat being slow, especially with a full party. You had a kind of a weird fanfare there, almost like something in the hold up. It seems like I have to spend experience to level up the skills. Combat's gonna be slow. <laughs> you can definitely see it now. Missed. God damn it. Doesn't help that we like attack once and the attack like five times. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help the reward dexterity with a heavier shield and whatnot, but. Alright, yeah, so it seems like we're doing more damage with that club. Even with the sh strength, uh, sh actually, I think the strength spell has already gone off. I don't see the, uh, the aura thing we had. But it was doing better, I think, with the club. Can we change weapons in the middle of battle? Probably not. Apparently they can flee. Damn it. Well, never be able to catch up to him now. <laughs> Run after it. I'm guessing if they get to the edge of the map, they can, like, leave. God, if I have to chase this thing down, it's actually that's faster than I am. Okay, yeah. So they do get to the edge and flee. Hey, Tex. Yep. This game. It's not terrible, bad, but I can see this being a long game of the combat being that slow and plodding. Battle Hunter. Oh, yeah. Don't go off the beaten path. <laughs> I I told myself not to do that again. Until we get to town. It's 
make a save just in case I do that. Yeah, I don't know much about it either. It seems like it's... I don't know. It's barely an RPG from what I, I can tell, but... Things have it listed as an RPG, so I guess we'll play it. I'm going to say, like, where's that sound coming from? I guess it's coming from up there. One herb. Well, it's a mighty chest. This imagination? Yes, yes, you did. Lucky you. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's one of those games that if if they had spent a little more time on it, it felt it felt like it was rushed. Some quality of life stuff that could have improved the game quite a bit. The ability of turning off animations and having like an instant uh, message speed would have made combat like a lot faster. Um, you know, adding some like some nice UI things that would improve the UI. Uh, interesting concept, but yeah. Herb spices. Those are chests. I'm getting going off the beaten path, but there's treasure. God, it's so dark, I can't see anything. It's a person. Assuming they don't want to kill us. It's a rat. Yeah, I mean, th there would have been obviously a. Um, th there'd be like an ex expiration time, if you will, for the popularity of the card game, so you want to get it out as soon as you can, because if the card game falls out of favor, then all that work is lost, right? So. Protectness is the best face. Yeah, he has the face of, like, just... So, some posh squire. You know, he's from, from, like, a noble family. He doesn't give a damn about anything but himself. Which pretty much uh, describes Alaron pretty well. <laughs> I get it as best as you can. Yep. The screamiest rats ever. We can level up uh, willpower. What does willpower do? What's your defense against enemy magic spells? Well, we haven't met magicians yet. These are really expensive to level up, but I mean, they're stats, so that's generally the case with stats. So, uh, seems like you can level these up on the field, but it's very expensive to level up. But it seems like if you can learn it from a trainer, it's going to cost less. But obviously, you know, you'd have to find a trainer that can that has a higher level than what you currently have. Because, yeah, these are really expensive if you try learning on the field. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels very D&D. &D. We don't even have a party yet, but there's a party system. We're just really early in the game. I'm just, you know, exploring a lot. <laughs> the, the only thing I kind of... I mean, it, it might be a design thing more than a than a uh, limit, hardware limitation thing, but the draw distance for objects. And I think it is a design thing, because if you look, you know, that lady there, yeah, we see her from relatively far away before she starts fitting out. But stuff like chests, you have to be much closer before they show up. 
and I mean, you have other objects on the ground like those those uh those uh, stumps there i mean you can see those from pretty far so i'm pretty sure it's stuff like chests and that not showing up until you're practically on top of them is a design yeah it might have something to do with uh with your like intelligence no i mean there's not really a, a stat for you know for seeing far I can see if there's like some sort of uh, perception skill that would make sense. But maybe, maybe there's an actual skill, like some sort of perception skill that we don't have yet, which is why our, our view distance is like ridiculously low. Can you help me, miss? Certainly, Squire. We all owe you so much for the, to the knighthood. I only want to know if I'm anywhere near the castle. You poor sickly lad. You should go home to a warm bed. You look fevered. Castles to the west. There are healers there. I appreciate your help. West? Behind me? I mean... The castle's clearly to the east. <laughs> the northeast, not the west. What the hell is she talking about, the west? I think she needs to get her eyes checked. <laughs> That or my compass is severely broken. Seven hit points. Maybe she hates me, yeah, probably. Maybe she hates the knighthood. She's like, screw this squire. Well, I mean, she probably knows I'm... She probably knows me, because Alaron doesn't seem like he's somebody who would, you know... He seems like the kind of kid who would play a lot of pranks. She's like, screw this kid, he, he destroyed my fields the other day. Yeah, the frame rate doesn't seem amazing, but it doesn't seem like a, frame, like a game that really needs the frame rate, if you will. Like, it's not an action game, it's a turn-based... You know, if, if this was an action-based game where you had to actually fight things on the field with that frame rate, yeah. <laughs> Definitely would be complaining more. But for turn-based, eh, I can handle it. <laughs> Fighting politicians, yeah. <laughs> you slashed engine. This game away from you. I, I, I hear you've, you've had a lot of fun with this game. It doesn't, it doesn't seem bad, though. I don't know. It, it probably gets worse. And it seems like it's going to be a long one from what I hear. But it doesn't seem bad. I don't know. I play, I, I've, I've played a lot of games up to this point, so <laughs> I've, I've seen a, a lot of Drek. This one doesn't seem to be... Definitely doesn't seem to be bottom tier. Doesn't seem to be like amazing either. I mean, this is this, the, this seems to be a solid mid-tier game. I got, I got a high tolerance for Drek, as long as it's playable Drek. Damn it! Hit the damn rat! Right, I'm definitely going back to the club after this. Seems the club has a way better chance of hitting. This, the club has a better hit percentage. I I just don't know if the plus the the extra two uh, sword ranks makes our sword more likely to hit. But so far it seems it doesn't. That or the uh, the hit percentage is including the the uh, hit percentage boost you get from the from the skill. Team has a cult following. Yeah, I can see it. I mean. It has a lot of D and D esque aspects, so I mean, it, it gives you a lot of detail in game, which is nice. You know, I love games that actually, you know, hey, you pick something up here. Here's here's a bunch of info about it. Here's here's what this object is going to be. You know, I'm just going to beast hide. Like, what the hell does beast hide do? Oh, it's can be shaped into light armor. So okay, it's probably crafting, and that this is good. You know, I, I could I could probably sell it. 
It's like, hey, here's a club. Oh, what the hell does this club do? Is it better than a sword? Oh, here, look, there's stats. There's not just a little bit of stats. There's a lot of information. So I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I love games that actually give you information. You don't have to, like, guess. So, I don't know. So, what is this music? Did we stumble upon some weird circus? Like, is this, you know, the best game in the N64? Hell no. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know if I want to fight wherever the hell that thing is over there. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, if this game is as long as it sounds like it's going to be, yeah, that could be a problem. So, <laughs> I'll see if I change my... Like I said, I'll see if I change my tune in 20 hours. And I might. But right now, right now I'm doing a lot of exploration, right? I'm sure... If it's, it sounds like it's going to be one of those games that I get to the... I get to the point where it's just like, screw this exploration, I'm moving on, trying to do the story as quick as I can. That's usually what I end up doing with these kind of games. I just get sick of exploring and I just... Is that a... Oh, that's a log. I thought it was like a lizard or something. I'm like, what the hell? From this angle. <laughs> Definitely looks like it's a, a living thing sitting on the beach. Uh, yours? What was it, like, 100-something? I, I know that um, like How Long to Beat has like two people who put other times in, which isn't a lot, but I mean, their average play time is like 60 hours, which means my my average time is going to be at least 80 plus. How, how long did it actually take you? i will never be defeated by an RPG? Nah. That's it. I, up to this point, I've played a lot of Drek. I mean, there's a reason I'm playing these in chronological order. <laughs> I've already gone through the the earlier eras. I've, I've been through Whale's Voyage. I've been through the Amiga CD32. I, I don't think there's anything that's going to defeat me in later generations. 49 hours, that sounds pretty short, so that's good. It's better than the average time that other people are mentioning. But were you, like, speedrunning through the thing? Like, try to get through it as fast as possible, or just enjoying the... Uh, <laughs> Enjoying the adventure. From the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like you enjoyed the game a lot, so... I imagine you probably try to get through it as fast as possible. Use some guides. Oh, God. Uh, that's a lot of bats. That's a lot of bats. <laughs> enjoying the adventure. <laughs> yeah. It sounds, like, it sounds like it was a fantastic game that you really liked a whole lot. Let's get the hells out of here. Most likely, it'll be one of those games I, I I explore as lot as a lot of during the beginning of the game, and then just say screw this <laughs> later on. That's basically what I end up doing in these kind of games that tend to drag on for a while. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I said so far, from from the little bit from the two hours I've played, it looks like it has some interesting mechanics, some interesting. Wait, can I, can I not run away here? I'm at the edge of the map. I mean, I can't move more this way. Do I have to press a button to run? No. Is it an option here? No. I just have to wait at the edge of the map for a little longer? No, maybe I just can't flee. Amy's can flee. I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's... I mean, I can already see the combat getting long, especially if there's a... Uh, I mean, I don't have a party uh, member yet. Imagine with a full party and like a, a large encounter like this, I could see the. I'm probably gonna have to reload here. I'm, 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 I can see this game getting long and frustratingly just a slog, right? That's probably the worst thing. It's not necessarily games being bad, but games being a slog, where you just 
just like it just it just drags you down. That's the worst kind of games. It gets boring and long. Yeah, this is gonna be really bad. <laughs> That's what I get for exploring. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I mean if it's if it's short but like just like broken mechanics, but you can kind of power through it. Yeah, it's it's one thing, but if it's just a really, really long game and there's nothing that keeps you interested, then of course it's it's gonna be it's gonna be just you just want it done, you just want it over with, you just wanna get out of it. Well, if, yeah, if there's a hard lock thing, yeah, let me know. I don't consider it a hint if it's something that's going to prevent me from, like, hard locking the game. As long as it's not, like, any sort of story spoiler or anything. If it's like, don't do this. I mean, I try to save as often as I can. But if it's something that might even... can screw up your game file, that'd be really bad. Oh, these guys are barely doing damage, but neither am I, so this is going to be a freaking long fight. Can I hit him? Thank you. Wait, did you just call reinforcements that we said? <laughs> Wait, why is there another dead one? He died from boredom? <laughs> I'm resting the camp on steep hills? Okay. Yeah, that's good to know. Thank you. So, avoid steep hills when resting, when camping. Yeah, I imagine, yeah, it's probably... The game probably tries to... To put you back on the hill, I would imagine. And then somehow you go underneath the world and probably screw up the game. I can see that happening. Sorry, was it was your fault, Core? It's all your fault. Yep, I'm playing chronologically. This is the last game on the N64 to play. So I did this to myself. <laughs> I saved the best N64 game for last. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. T too bad Paper Mario couldn't have been the last game. I guess we did play that recently, so... God. Yeah, see... This is the part that's going to be annoying with fights, just the constant misses. Come on! I'm, I'm starting to regret saying this is going to be... Yeah, this, is, this, is, this looks like it's going to be kind of fun. 20 hours later in one battle? Yeah, maybe not. When the many financing for RPG masterpieces. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's some decent games on the N64, but I mean, it's quite clear the N64 just got completely obliterated by Sony when it comes to uh, RPGs. Yeah, you know, the first party game, which is good. And then, I mean, Ogre Battle is, is a pretty uh, decent tactical RPG. And. Yeah. That's it. More fun Star Odyssey? Yeah, probably, Dex. Are we there yet? I mean, these guys are doing, they're not doing damage, but goddamn. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> That's yet core. Poor core. Wait, is he running away? I just noticed he's like not close to me anymore. Yeah, they're fleeing. Alright. So they can flee. I can't flee. That's fine, I guess. 450. 
No treasure. Well, that's horrible. <laughs> Doing sanity damage. Not my sanity. This wonderful music is helping things a lot. I really shouldn't be exploring. I keep telling myself that, but the exploration... The, exp the, the, the exploration bone in me is like, no, you gotta explore. There'd be treasure over here. You need to go see. But, but death. No, exploration. Is that a boulder? A bush? Some random... <laughs> an amazing bush that can stay the same no matter what direction you look at it. Yeah, D&D combat in general tends to be pretty slow. And a lot of missing. <laughs> That's one thing you get a lot in D&D. In, in &D. It's just constant whiffs. Where am I right now? Kind of near Guariania, but for not. It is town, right? I think it's town. I just took a really weird way to get here. Instead of taking the road, I went by the uh, the beach. Curious if I can drown in the ocean or if it lets me walk into the ocean. Let's find out. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, Slash, thanks for stopping on by. Probably not gonna be much on on much longer tonight. Did a lot of imagination, so it's been like an eleven and a half hour stream. Save. Let's see if we get insta-death. No, it doesn't want to let us walk on it. Okay, figured as much. Because so it does let you walk in water, so that's that's a rarity in games. But you can't walk in something that's too deep. But I, I prefer the no music to this music. <laughs> Got more bats. God damn it. Sneak! No. <laughs> oh, why does there have to be so many bats? Where's, where's our fireball spell? I need a fireball spell. <laughs> or, or a bow. Uh, maybe I can shoot them with a bow. Can't see exactly like I do. Damn it. Miss. The eye the just doesn't know what to do. It's like, I can't, I can't figure out how to get around this guy. I'm just going to stay here and... Not move. It just like warped to me. Or is it because I pressed the button? God, miss, 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 miss. <laughs> yeah, it seems like if you just press the button, it just it just warped there. You don't have to wait for them to move. So at least you can speed up the combat a little bit. Oh god, this is gonna... Take like a million turns. I got one, and I miss. <laughs> it's gonna take like two hits to even break them things in range. I gotta move up to them. Hit something. I didn't kill it, so <laughs> not gonna help me much. Your father in law used to play this game all the time? Oh, yeah. Like, this game seems to have a lot of exploration, so, I mean, that, that part's nice. But man, this combat is going to be... I mean, I hope the combat gets better down the road where we don't miss every single attack. <laughs> like, we already see pretty low level at this point, and our stats aren't very high, so... Plus, you know, we're wearing heavier armor, I guess. Well, barely heavy, I mean. 
lowered her dexterity a bit. Great. So if we hurt something, it's just going to run away and I can't catch up to that thing. Listen, Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> I guess you didn't have a lot of the games on the N64. <laughs> so that's just to get better. There you go. <laughs> Damn it. I was kind of hoping it would, you know, once we get party members. But, eh, wishful thinking, I guess, right? Jeez, the game exploited. Hey, if I can if I can run to an exploit and figure it out myself, you know, I can guarantee I'll be using it. <laughs> Man. Yeah, if I find an exploit that makes me attack or hit like 90% of my attacks instead of 10% of my attacks, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, I'm already hating the combat system. My god. Oh, come on. I need to increase my, my weapon stats so I can actually hit. Yeah, it seems like money, uh, money or experience probably would help a lot, yeah. Oh, what is this, like five misses in a row now? At least one of them is running away, so I don't have to fight him, but goddamn. I'm actually taking damage here because these guys are hitting me. I mean, I, they're missing most of the time, but they're hitting me more often than I'm hitting them. Come on! Hit the thing! I know it's a damn bat. I mean, it'd be hard to hit a damn bat, but come on. Finally hit something. Killed them too. Thank God. I hope these guys are like way faster than me and get like 20 attacks for every attack I get in. Ah, thank God. That's over. <laughs> Tennis rackets. I got enough to level up endurance and strength. So I guess my endurance is going down because my stamina is so low. Maybe because my stamina was so low. Use my strength and all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's raise my strength. <laughs> it's not that bad to fuck this game in half an hour. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean... Two battles with, like, million bats doesn't really help things. <laughs> and I, I am kind of going off the beaten path where it shouldn't really be at this point, I think. But, you know, the the exploration in me needs to... The explorer in me needs to go explore. I can't help it. It's just my nature. The guts to do it, but it's painful. Chest. I got a dagger. Is that any good? Damage one, no. Base hit 35, min strength 7.
<laughs> this game will go really fast. Wouldn't be surprised if... What the hell? Did I just, like, warp there? The game's like, no, you're not like, going here. Alright, nothing here. Alright. All that for a shitty dagger. I mean, it's probably worth money, I guess. Why am I not going towards the town? Turn around. But, but... What? Journal entry. Nani? I found a bizarre camp south of the castle. It fills me with strange feelings. It's a slightly dangerous trap. Okay. At least it tells you it's trapped. Not like, you're gonna die. Or you just open it up and you're dead. <laughs> I figured I'd turn around to be like a camp full of naked women, but, you know. It was not. I'm disappointed. I mean, it is an N64 game. Not a PlayStation game. On the, the local brothel outside of town. Well, I mean, it is a corpse. Like, <laughs> it's kind of gutted there. Look at that amazing fire. Look at it. <laughs> Are you looking at the amazing fire sprites? So realistic. Actually, half a corpse. Well, it seems like there's another half at the bottom there. Alright, let's try it. That exploded. Alright, so I guess if it explodes, you lose your shit. Good to know. Reload. More if that's like a chance of happening. I mean, I don't have any sort of disarm skills, so. Probably can't open this. Let's have like a thief or something. Or disarm. So yeah, I probably can't do anything unless you have a disarm skill. Well, the music kind of goes on and off when it feels like it. See? It's off now. <laughs> you spoke its name, it ran away. the thing we saw in our dream. That's a thing. Report. You are certain he has found our camp? The mistress will not be pleased. We must be more careful of this boy. More careful indeed. Soon he will be hers. <laughs> Get some weird ass dude. What? No chest up here? I'm sure there'd be a chest in this in this path. <laughs> she could just disarm anyone by ripping their arms off. But you can't put... Yeah, there's no way of like, putting notes or waypoints on the map. Yeah, <laughs> who am I kidding? Putting notes on a map. I guess I do have a journal entry, so that's going to kind of remind me once I get the sirens. Oh, yeah, the camp. No. All right. Rats usually have... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's like rats usually have a smaller group. Nope. <sighs> All right, I'm going to town after this. <laughs> At least the frame rate is good. I... I... no? <laughs> I 
I mean, most other rats we fought so far were like up to three rats. The game's like, nah. You want rats here? We'll give you rats. Here's seven. That seems like that's probably the most you can hold unless they can have two, two like mini icons at the bottom of the other icons, like side by side kind of thing. Of course, they take like three hits to kill. I guess I could one shot those bats every once in a while. This is going to be a long battle. Especially if you know, get a turn every, like, I don't know, 20 turns. Come on, hit him, please. Okay. It seems like rats at least are a little easier to hit than the bats, which makes sense. Good. Reinforce. Okay, so the bottom ones are reinforcements, and so they're not on the field. They could just go on the field, I guess. To reinforce the current team. And that one fled there. Yeah, at least they're fleeing, so we're only fighting four. Well, maybe five if one shows up. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so it's slightly better. Four instead of seven. Yeah, run away, rat. Damn dirty rats. Can I have a turn now? <laughs> Run, rat, run! Seven rats to three. God, that's the rat scream. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good amount of XP. I'll take it. What did I tell myself? But, but I mean, this might be a dead end with treasure. So that's regarding something, right? If I see any other monster, I'm getting away. Yep. <laughs> it's down here. No oh, treasure. 50 gold, totally worth it. Alright, let's go to town. To town! World's worst magicians. I gotta see if there's anything back here. <laughs> I know, I know, I should be going to town. It's the path we didn't take to get to town. No, no treasure chest hiding in the nooks. have a gap that cuts the earth in half here, you know. This is just a standard gap. You see these everywhere.
Run away! Let's see before we run into town. I think we're in town. I mean, it's hard to tell. Like, like that flashing icon, assuming that's us. We're not even close to town, but maybe it just moves into town. Like, it doesn't give you an accurate representation of where you are, just a rough representation. section of the map versus, you know, an, an exact direction on the map. Which kind of sucks, but... They send you to talk to me? Did they? Well, boy, did they? Did they send you? Are you deaf? <laughs> Come on, sir, I don't have money today. They... You know. You took the ring, didn't you? What, the ring I picked up in the town? I don't know anything about a ring. Does it belong to someone you know? You're trying to be amusing? Foolish boy. You took the ring, didn't you? I don't know anything about a ring. Why like those who might help? Talking to me. What do they tell you? They burned down that village? They about everything. You should listen to them. You shouldn't listen to them. You think they'll tell you the secret or explain that camp? You believe what they say about that? Is that it? Hmm. They? Would you like to see it? Are you mad? The ring is one of the relics of the lost namer. If I should, if I should see the ring, let me guess. You'll be cursed, right? Or would they come after you? Maybe the goblins would find you and do something really terrible. What would they do? Or what do you do all day, anyway? Run around in this forest trying to scare harmless travelers? You know, the knighthood is a terrible thing to waste. Hopefully they don't make you a knight. Does the king know you're here? Does the king care anymore? That's the question. Hmm. Alright, so we got some sort of namer artifacts. Which this ring is, happens to be one of. Five gold. Good, really, please change the music. <laughs> this music is horrid. Better. I love games that have, like, volume sliders for music. <laughs> Hello, friend. Good day. Wait, is that the same dude we just talked to? What's going on in this forest? Like, we can't have more than two sprites. Nothing much, but we didn't pass through the village today. I see. Drink potions, Infernal Flask, Stealth Potion, jeez. For those drinkers to blend more easily with backgrounds. The herbs, two spices, and then alchemist rank of at least two. Hmm. Fernal flask, more powerful version of fire, sticking, cinderi, liquid, burst into flames on contact with air. Creating an inferno flask. Wait, I mean, the flask is, is open ended. <laughs> Shouldn't we be scared? More powerful version of healing potion, nice. Shelves. I stay in the bed. <laughs> Some random person's bed. Damn it. I can't jump. Oh. Sometimes jump up.
I say it looks like there's something underneath the bed, but it looks like it's just the bed post. That's an ugly picture. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be, but... I guess high resolution doesn't work with photos in the wall. I suppose you have a better map of the town when you're in it now. Can you help me, miss? Why, is someone following you? I just want to know if I'm anywhere near the castle. Have you heard the stories of the pale spirit that runs the wild in the woods? Why, thank you. <laughs> what? Didn't seem to make sense as dialogue. Remember, got better? Did it? <laughs> I think you're lying. It's better when you're inside, I guess. Nothing to steal here. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> That's an annoying dog. <laughs> if you're gonna have a dog barking loop, at least give it a little bit of a, a different variation every time. Yeah, I know, right? This totally has a precursor to Oblivion, I swear. This, this is like Morrowind 1.0 or 0 0.5. I'm sure Bethesda secretly worked on this to release an N64 game. Map 2. Details doesn't work. Mm. Could not equip that item. I can't get a description for it. Which is odd. Some sort of treasure map, maybe? No, it did seem to expand our our kind of like map around the Aromon area. So it seemed to make it larger. But then why is it an, an item and not just something that just unlocks your map? You should shouldn't it just get used up and disappear from your inventory? game freezes and skips when you use an expansion pack. Well, I'm playing on an emulation, so definitely no tips there, but <laughs> it, I mean, this game just seems like it runs slow as hell. But from what I've heard of people playing the real thing, it's it kind of runs like this all the time. It's just not very well designed, I guess. <laughs> Why am I wearing a pile of shit on my head? Why am I wearing a poop emoji? I have some random farmer's hat. It was just like one extra protection. Book. Book do anything? Oh, she's cooked too faster. Beckon's journal. I read this in springtime following the Battle of Lonely Mountain. I say that I saved his majesty, but maybe I did. But at what cost? What coin did I pay in that debt? Summer? Armor. I'm ready to protect myself against the enemy's blows, yet what will I wear to armor myself against my own thoughts? Ball. Brown turn leaves in this dismal season. Look at me, for pity's sake. I sound now like a mincing minstrel, overreaching for a rhyme and reason. Yeah, it, se it seems like... I mean, it, this game seems like it, it, it would have a lot of content. I mean, from what I understand, it's got a pretty large world with a lot of exploration and it seems like it has a lot of you know a lot of mechanics like it, it seems pretty sound in that aspect you know you have weapons with a lot of different stats and you know it actually gives you all the information in game you don't have to guess it, it feels like 
I don't know if it if it uh, uses any sort of existing kind of RPG system. Like it doesn't feel like it's D and D, but it definitely seems like it's kind of that level of like, that's what it's kind of aiming for. That level of uh, of complexity. So it definitely seems more complex than your standard, you know, console RPG. Definitely more of a Western style than Eastern, anyways. It's done. Even though my sword grows rusty, I dishonor my compatriots. I must find solace in the mountains. Perhaps their echo will find my heart once again. I will go to Aromon. <clears throat> Alright, so Beckon's gone to Aromon. I mean, I'm not sure if that's important. I don't know who the hell Beckon is. So I guess that's why he had the map of Aromon up in his uh, cellar. Apparently he sells toilet seats. <laughs> Fancy toilet seats with wings. <laughs> Hello, friend. Oh, what's this theory? Are you lost? Look for your nurse. What is he, like, an old woman? <laughs> What's going on in this forest? Well, some of the travelers are planning a big party for the moment you leave. Oh, well, thanks anyway. <laughs> that seems very Oblivion-esque dialogue. Yeah, I, I definitely agree there. This, this game seems like it would definitely have done better on the PS2. On a system that could, like, handle the power a little better. I don't know if, why they went with N64. I mean, I guess between the N64 and the PS1, I mean, N64 technically more powerful system. And obviously, they probably were working on this. I mean, they, they probably this, this game was probably released at a point where you know the N64 was pretty much done at this point. It's the last RPG on N64, so I mean, it they kind of probably pushed it out of the door. Whether it was ready or not, kind of thing, right? Go to those places yet, did I? Yeah, let's do that first. Must explore everything. Wow. <laughs> when you're not close to them, they uh, they have really janky animations. They probably have janky animations, anyways. Excuse me, sir. Hello. I was wondering if you could tell me what it's like to stand guard. I'd be doing this and fighting minions, I'd say. I see. <laughs> Some very pointless. I mean, it's interesting you talk to every NPC, but it uh, seems like they have very pointless and uh, pointless conversations sometimes. Is that a candle maker's house? <laughs> an inn? I mean, this would be a weird place for an inn, considering we have to just walk. Off the off the path, I mean, there's no path leading here. Let's be sleeping still dreaming. I don't know if I'm anywhere near the castle. Let's be the men in silly outfits. You look like one of those dapped squires from the castle. Oh, thanks anyway. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's any worth in talking to these random NPCs. So, what is this place? This kind of looks like a pub. I mean, it's a weird place for a pub. No, it's definitely an inn. The inn was like in the middle of nowhere with no path going to it. Hidden on this side of a bridge leading to the castle. Meta quote. <laughs> Damn camera, please. Oh. Fighting bats again. This is only one bat this time. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not gonna be a 20 minute long fight. You put the music volume back up. <laughs> I mean, the first game was was relatively quick. Uh, I mean, the you know the, that game that game definitely ran better on PS. Like I, I popped onto my PS2 afterwards, the PS1 version, and it definitely ran better. So there was definitely some issues on the PS3 in terms of the the game running slower than it should be. Uh, the PS2 version is different. I mean, it's it's not the same. It's not the same uh, game. It's got the same story from what I can tell, but I mean the, the levels are completely different, so so obviously going to be a different engine. So remains to be seen if that one's going to be any better. If it's anything as if it's as fast as the uh, the first one, at least that'll be a nice and quick game after this one. Because this one seems like it's going to be at least a a sixty plus hour game for me. Probably absolute minimum. Especially considering, you know, I like to explore, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Goblin hiding down here. So you have like one hit point left. <laughs> Two hundred fifty-five experience. It didn't scale. It's got more protection. Three more protection. Huh. Stealth goes down to zero. I think a little less. Like we have one less dexterity than we have right now. You armor. I wonder if that actually looks different on our character. Yeah, so we'd, we'd lose one extra dexterity. Or, or it's not like we're going to be sneaking around, so. Nope. <laughs> Maybe in battle, but probably not. Self potions. Pick up shrooms, no. <laughs> Pick sixty four was definitely that one felt very rushed. I mean, it's clear that they, they want to get that game out early. This one, I mean, this one seems to have more, more content. Hello, friend. Hello, Squire. It's always nice to see someone from the castle. What's going on in the forest? Some of the farmers may go out and fight the goblins. I think the knights would do a better job, don't you agree? Appreciate your help. <laughs> supposed to be a well. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of empty buildings. I mean, the, uh, the Game Boy Color... Is it in Game Boy Color? Yeah, Game Boy Color kind of rebooted that game or whatever. Had more lore in it than the actual N64 one. It's weird. You open for business, sir. Get out of the shop, you slimy mug. I didn't know you were closed. You look like you could use some armor, Squire. Your clothes are damp and ugly. <laughs> I mean, 
first he insults me. And then it's like, hey, yeah, you look like you can use some new armor. Train of skill. Some alchemist diplomat. Will meet will be more likely to be friendly and thus give you <laughs> Yeah, like this guy. This guy could stand to be more friendly. Hmm. Should probably get like one of every skill. Characters detect and disarm traps and chest. Alright, we need that one for the uh a good mechanic. 200 gold. I have 200 gold. Yeah. Ranger. Herbs, gems, and spices you harvest. Beef. Picks we can lost without a key. Mail or the help help file. There's a help file. This makes it sound like it's a. <laughs> Please see the readme files. Like what? <laughs> battle hunter. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect out of battle hunter. I don't know. If it's for master, good. I don't know. We'll save her gold. Gemstones, herbs, spices. Can I sell stuff? Sell this dagger. What's worth more, the short sword or the uh, club? So according to this, you know, the short sword sounds like it's better than the club, but I mean, looking at the stats, both of them do two damage. The base, da the base hit is higher on this. I'm assuming base hit, the higher the better. This is like golf, and you want a lower base hit, or like a, a like an early D and D armor rating thing. But <laughs> shiny force, new. I'm sure you're looking forward to that one. <laughs> Said nobody ever. 2005. I got a ways to got a ways to go before you get to worry about that game existing. Also, all of them. Beast Tide. Probably want to keep that. Seems like it sounds like I can uh, make armor with it. So I'm assuming I need a. That's worth 450 bucks. Assuming I need some sort of crafting table or something. Core likes it. <laughs> well, people were mentioning it's similar to. Um, what was the game I played there? Um, Record of Lotto's War. Kind of like that. But, you know. It's a shining game. I, I wouldn't want that out of a shining game. <laughs> what if I want to do nothing? <laughs> Hey, Gurgrimmer. How's it going? Welcome to this game. The best game in the N64, bar none. Mario 6... Er, Paper Mario Wishes was this good. Some amazing music. Just listen to that wonderful music. It's a dulcet tune of angels singing on their harps. I don't know how the hell you sing on a harp, but you know, angels know how to do that. They're crawling in the kitchen sink. <laughs> Those beetles again. Damn beetles. The microwave. This is trying to cook cook a snack. All he wanted was popcorn. Damn it. <laughs> 
They're evolving. Oh yeah. That tasty, tasty new wood. I love these conversations. Like, it seems like a very one hit side. Like, he just. He's like, hey, hi, can you help me? Some random thing. Hey, I want to know if I'm near the castle. Some other random thing. Like, oh, alright, see ya. Fourth one. But, I mean, there's chests right there. Why can't you open them? Open the chests. Got a camera, please. It's supposed to be a counter. This looks like maybe a smith. No? business sir hello squire we're usually open what would you like should i know about the town you're a brave looking lad i'll bet you could show those goblins out in the forest a thing or two wait what i asked you about the town this <laughs> merchant ranks Merchant, I'm assuming that lowers the prices. For good prices in buying and selling in shops. Here's the value of an item. Eh. Hatchet. Got three damage. Base hit of. Oh, it's a thrown weapon. The bow would be nice, especially since we have a uh, skill of three of the bow. I don't know if we need missiles. Like, uh, doesn't sell arrows. That uh, seems like you don't need an arrow to use it. Thirty-five and two. Thirty-five and three. Can't afford it though. I'd have to sell some stuff. I could probably sell my sword or something. Throne. So it's probably the same thing with all these throne items. You probably don't actually lose it. But my throne skill sucks. My missile skill is good though. Saber. Saber is pretty good too. This one only has two damage though. This one's just like slightly better than the short sword. Staff of the pole. Tanto. 70 damage. Or 70 damage. It's one damage or 70 base hit. So this one's a good chance of hitting, but. Protection. I probably want that bow. So, what can I sell? Need uh, hundred gold. There's some frontal flask. Stealth potions, 200 bucks a piece. Done. How 
me. Two gold, wow. Totally worth coming up to here for. I wonder if they like randomly they randomize how much stuff you can get in these chests or if it's predetermined. Like if it's always two gold, because that seems like shit. <laughs> Most of the uh, stuff I've seen in chests are usually even numbers, not like I don't get like 31 gold or anything weird like that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, that's, that's an annoying thing in combat is you have to be, like, right next to something. I'm just hoping bow isn't something like, uh, if you're, you know, too close to the enemy, you can't use it kind of thing. Because that would get annoying and make it very hard. So let's hope it's not that. Hmm. Hey, okay, just being able to hit enemies before they walk up and smack me in the face here. Alright, we need to go back down in the inn. Go into the basement there, I kind of went into that crack and then go back and... See if there's anything else in here. There's no innkeeper here anyways. I guess, you know, we wouldn't have any reason to stay at the inn since, you know, we could just stay at the castle. Just the crack and nothing else. Who's that help file? Oh yeah, there's a help thing here. Yeah, an actual built-in trick. Trick through the stars. That's actually information in-game. That's cool. Skill use, yeah. Mechanic. Mechanic allows you to detect and disarm traps and doors and containers and make armor from the hides of certain beasts. When you attempt to open a trap container, you'll give an option disarming it. If you choose this option, character your party with the highest mechanic skill will make the attempt. If successful, the trap will be disarmed, otherwise it'll explode, doing damage to the whole party. It's not that I have like one point in mechanic, I should go try that that chest that was trapped. In order to make armor, you must have beast hide, darken darken bat hide, hellhound hide, or chitin plates in your inventory. Main menu, select the mechanic skill, press the A button, select the armor or shield you wish to create from the Menu, press the button again. The other hiding place will be destroyed, nothing will be produced. Jeez, this is this is a pretty in-depth uh, help system. Holy crap. I have rank one. <laughs> will be a low chance of making it. Yeah, we'll put the lore master. Master skill does not need to be activated as a skill the character automatically uses when attempting to read library books or identify items. It's library books. Either. Stealth. Action libraries. Talk to many of the monsters in the game, but beware if monster is hostile and try to talk to it, you'll be drawn straight into combat.
skill and spell advancement. Occasionally, kill skills may improve simply through use. Okay. When you use a skill, more likely it does improve, so it can just go up by itself. It's good to know. Do training. Combat. Damage attacks. <clears throat> uh, do, do, do. Red box will appear around the portrait of enemy. It's within your range strike. Okay. Doesn't say that uh, can't hit near or things that are near to you, but fire flask, infernal flask, sleep flask, or acid flask. Just throwing throwing potions. It's the hit. The target is wearing a shield. Oh, the target, okay. Yeah, troop door. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming troop door is only useful if you have a if you have a party. the button up or B supposed to be it's the start button I'm guessing. Yeah. The in-depth health system. Whoop. <laughs> Alright, it's a good thing that warped us back there. It's like shit, we just fell through the world. <laughs> That just in case. <laughs> Let's try that again. Seems like it's definitely a buggy spot, just or at least it does seem to have some protection if you fall through the world. Thank God for that. Go to the castle. Actually, uh, now the chest I think was like dangerously something or other. It, it didn't, didn't seem like it was an easy thing to disarm, so I'm sure mechanic skill of one will be. Well, maybe that was because my mechanic skill was non-existent, so it was like dangerous to discern it. It's not that far from town; it's just up the uh, the hill there. So, I want to try making armor too. You can encounter a small group of enemies that can try the bow on, too. No, no enemies. A slightly dangerous trap. Mm. I mean, I, I haven't seen another trap yet, so I don't know if slightly dangerous means it's easy. I mean, when it blew up, it wasn't really doing a lot of damage, like one or two damage, so... There you go. That's a little beyond... Oh, okay. It's locked as well. Was the... 
I remember if there was a, uh, I think there was a thief um, skill I could purchase too. I know, right? I mean, this, one, this one's got a day-night cycle, it's got a weather system. I mean, it's pretty advanced for an N64 RPG. A little too advanced, you know, like the system isn't exactly designed for this kind of advanced... <laughs> this game definitely would have been better on, PS, on PS2. But, you know... It's a thing. It exists. It is. Is this a shop? No. Where were the shops? You're up here. Let's see what's inside that chest. Or if the shops are open all day, or if they have like a. A Morrowind style, you know, like they, they leave their shops at night. Probably not, since the NPCs seem to be just standing around in the middle of the night in the rain. Yeah, but Animal Crossing was, I mean, a game designed like that. RPGs generally in this era don't didn't really have stuff like that. Thief. All right, we need uh, 200 gold. Let's sell another. We got enough XP too, which is good. Well, the original one is on N64. I think, wasn't it? Harvest Moon was Animal Crossing 2, I think. Yeah, Japan only. Alright, thief. Thank you. Let's go pick us a lock. It doesn't need more than one thief skill, but I imagine if one dis one mechanic skill was enough to disarm it. Imagine what thief skill would be enough. There's a the damn exit. <laughs> 64 DD, yeah. I'm sure, you know, 64 DD discs would have been... Yeah, how much storage is the 64 DD disc supposed to have? Now, how expensive were they, or were they going to be compared to, like, a CD? You know what I mean? Still would have been expensive as shit to develop any games on the N64, or at least to release any games on the N64. It's like, here, you can press CDs for, like, for, like, less than a dollar. Or you can make a game on a on a cart for I don't know, like how, how much did it cost a, a company for a cart, like ten plus dollars. No, this is my first time playing this game. Yeah, <laughs> if you're young playing this game, it probably would have been very hard. This game seems like it is going to have a lot of um, a lot of like information that kind of hints at things to do and places to go. So, this definitely seems like the kind of game you would have to take a lot of notes in. There's a lot of exploration, so you can kind of go off the beaten path. Wait, 
How, how did you get rearmed? I disarmed it already. Shit. Well, I guess I can't pick it yet. It sucks. The combat's a little slow, at least it was. I, I haven't tried it since I got a bow. I imagine the bow's probably going to make combat slightly faster since I don't have to move towards the enemy for, you know, five turns. Yeah, I mean, that's... It feels like an early Elder Scrolls-like game. I mean, obviously the Elder Scrolls would have been out. The first couple of games would have been on PC. I don't know when Morrowind came out on PC. I mean, it came out on console... In the Xbox era, still a ways away, so it's possible Morrowind might have been the thing at this point. But, I mean, the early Elder Scrolls definitely would have been out, and yet, I mean, there's a lot of other games similar to this on PC of this era, even MMOs like EverQuest and stuff. So it kind of feels like they were going for that style. Almost feels like Ultima 9. <laughs> no, you're not a mage. You're a squire. So right now you're kind of like the jack of all trades. Master of none. You, you have four party members, so I imagine you can have a... Uh, you can have like a, a good wizard, or you can have a thief. But if I'm going to be a knight, I'm probably going to be more... Tanky than anything. Oh, this is on emulator. Yeah, I, w I wish I had an N64 with this game, but my my game consoles are pretty much the Sony systems, and I mean I, ha I have like a GameCube and a Wii and all that stuff, but nothing nothing earlier than the uh, the PS2. <laughs> I'm playing PS1 games on my PS3. I have a complete uh, collection of PS1 RPGs, PS2, PS3, Xbox, Xbox 360, GameCube, Wii, and I've got most of the uh, PSP, Vita, Switch, PS4 games, so I've got a pretty, pretty big collection, but anything prior to that, not really. Yeah, I mean, for, for an N64 game... I've definitely seen worse looking games. Hello, Ron, you're back. We're just ready to set out again. Where would we, Sir Abrakan? Set out. The king is beside himself. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing I hear with the N64 controllers the, the analog stick, I'm guessing, right? Farmers say there are goblins in the forest. Is it true? I think I still have my N64 controller somewhere. For some reason I have an N64 controller, even though I never owned an N64. I, I had modded it to uh, play on, on, on PC. That was back when they had, like, um, game ports. <laughs> I, th I think I had... Yeah, I think it's modded to plug into a parallel port. Not that, you know, any PCs have that anymore. I wonder if I could use like a parallel to like USB adapter or something like that. Parallel to serial and serial to USB. <laughs> wonder if it would actually work. Probably not. God knows where that thing is right now. Of course I, I like cut off the N64 end so it's not like I'd be able to use a uh, N64 to USB adapter or anything. But I'm sure there's, there's probably um, it's probably like adapters or ways of plugging into USB. King has ordered everything and everyone to go after you. I'll speak to him right away. Other one, let me speak to you first. Not only has the king ordered a search, he's also asked all the travelers in the road to look for you. Despite the warnings of monsters and goblins, farmers have left their fields. Magicians have asked to been cons have been asked to consult the stars. Yeah. 
It's a weird ass design. Can't use the analog stick and the uh, D pad at the same time. Which, I mean, most games don't yet let you use both at the same time. But for playing on my PlayStation controller, I'm using a uh, DualShock 4 for any of uh, the emulated games. I mean, from this point on, is not. I mean, this is the last N64 game, but uh, the only thing I'd be pretty much emulating from this point on is going to be um, Nintendo handhelds. So Game Boy Color, Advance, DS, and 3DS. Because, I mean, I mean, Game Boy Color and Advance, I could technically play on a GameCube with a Game Boy player if I had one, which I don't. Um, but DS and 3DS, unless I get a really expensive modded DS or 3DS, play those games, it's just not worth it. And I really doubt a modded one would last me that long. So those ones are pretty much have to emulate. But all the other handhelds, PSP, uh, PlayStation, uh, Vita, and I'll use it on, play on my PSP and my PlayStation TV, and of course all the consoles I have from here on out. Right now my best nights are out in the wilderness searching, all because you took it into your head to play Hero. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, Japan only releases that were released in English, other than game on consoles that have uh, like they're region free. It's pretty much the. Uh, I don't know if there's any on the. I don't think there's any on Vita that are Japan only that have English, but it's mostly PlayStation 4. There's a lot of PS4 games and some Switch games. Something like that. You mean to worry you? I've been gone for days. I'm sorry, uh, Hypercan. Didn't play plan an all-out attack. Attack? When were you attacked? Look, I'm no mood to explain. Wait. Prince Sheridan claims you were looking for someone. Far be it for me to argue with Sheridan. Alaron, I just want to know what happened. Goblins attacked. An ambush. It was in the woods, not far from here. Kendall is dead. This is true. We must tell the king. Prince Sheridan. Run to the training room. Tell Taher and the boy is safe. Have him call off the search. But Sir Abrakan, do as I say. Can I go now? Stop right there, Squire. And start explaining. Problems were too strong for me. Naturally, the attacking groups. Where did they hope to fight them all? I mean, I've fought a couple goblins by themselves. <laughs> I don't know. They have patrols. They move at night. Everyone out there in the forest is afraid. They're horrible, Amrican. Enough of that. So you found Kendall, and then what? You escaped on your own? There was a healer gathering herbs. She stumbled across me. What healer? I've been all through this castle looking for you. I've spoken to everyone. No one's seen you for days. She's in, she isn't a castle dweller. She lives in the clearing on the edge of the forest. Her name is Arenia. What's the matter? Nothing. I don't believe any of this, do you? Just finish the story. It's not a story, it's the truth. Arenia dragged me out in the woods and back to her hut. She cast a spell. She couldn't cure you? No, she said ordinary herbs were useless. You must go to the throne room. I'll be alright. I know. This music is just... I'm hoping they don't use this soundtrack often. Huh? From Sheridan? What's that? Oh yes, yes, Sir Abrakan. If you please. Oh yes. Of course, the training room. Training room. Yes, yes, yes. Right away. We'll tell the king. We'll find Gachinia and speak to her. We'll ask Bowden what to do next. Make the music stop. 
I mean, it's clear they didn't have a really good composer or anything, or a composer at all. They just ask, I don't know, one of their kids to make the soundtrack. Excuse me, sir. What can I do for you? Yeah, so fucking random NPCs just... <laughs> Better than being a wizard and worry about exploding, ha! Huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, since all the music is weird as shit, I was waiting to see you. Looking for Gachinia. He's already spoken with her about the poison. You should go in. I'll be, I'll be there to hear, with you to hear the king's words. Alright. I'm gonna save here. Alright, I think we're gonna have to call it there for tonight. I'm getting a little tired. And <laughs> it's been almost 13 hours. I mean, this, I mean, this game doesn't seem terrible bad or anything. It seems it seems like it's gonna be bearable. It just... I don't know, the attack... It really depends on how, how fast the combat gets. If the combat gets any better... I can, I can imagine if we get a lot of uh, party members, the combat's going to get tedious. Especially if you get really big groups of enemies. If you get tanky enemies. But, you know, hopefully it'll get better. We'll probably get our first party member. I imagine in this castle, we'll probably get our first party member after this. And then, I don't know. Either we'll have to find how to cure this poison. Like, we're going to get some quest anyways. But... We'll, we'll carry that on tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll, I'll, I should be on probably around uh, noonish or so. And we'll continue this game. So hopefully it'll get it'll get faster. Get some more skills. Get some more characters. Get a thief. Probably waste my money on that thief skill, considering I can't even pick that lock. So, but I'll go from there. So we'll stop the game for now. Turn off the the wonderful music of the N64. Ugh, that music is painful. We'll call it for tonight. Let's see if there's anybody online we can host up for tonight. Yeah, it's been a long night. All right, who's playing what here? I got Taco Salad playing Adventures in Gaming. So we'll host Taco up. We'll go from there. So thanks everybody for watching. Everybody have a great night. And yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow for more of that wonderful game. Bye for now, guys. Well, see y'all next time.